Hello, dear children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning week. we are going to learn about the different kinds of animals and you are going to see an animal parade are you ready to see these animals wow let's get started children we are seeing a lot of animals every day but there are common animals and there are different kinds of animals around us today we are going to classify them and here comes the first set of animals in our parade. Welcome everyone! The first kind of animals are the pet animals. Wow, let's see what are these pet animals. They are the companion animals and they are kept primarily for person's company or entertainment rather than as a working animal. Livestock or a laboratory animal. These animals are the animals that can stay in our house. They are the ones that we are so happy to have at our home. Let's see what pet animal do you have. These are the examples of the pet animals. One are the birds. There are different kinds of birds that can be your pet. The first one in the list here is a parrotlet, lovebirds, what else? Parakeet, and there are so many other kinds of birds. But children, be careful because not all kinds of birds can be your pets, especially those big ones and those birds that eat meat. Next in the line are the fish. Ooh, they are in their aquarium, of course, because we put them in the aquarium when they are at home. Because these animals must be in the fresh water or in the salt water. But if we want to have them as our pet, we make sure that we have the right aquarium for them. First here is the most common that we have nowadays, the betta fish. They are very colorful and they don't need so much big space in our home. Another that we have here is a goldfish, arowana. And there are lots more like the flower horn and the small ones who among you have fish at home wow good for you what kind of fish do you have wow they are very nice kind of animal to be in the house they are releasing us from stress as you look at them you would feel so happy that's why we call them pet animals and make sure children that you're taking care of them huh and now let's go to the next set of animals in our line. Of course, they are called the man's best friend, the dogs. There are so many kinds of breed for the dog. And here are some examples. There are small ones like the Shih Tzu, the Chihuahua, and there are bigger ones like the Retriever and some other kinds of breed. How about you? What breed of dog do you have at home? Teacher Ira has lots of aspens at home. And I am very, very happy with my dogs and I love them so much. They are giving me so much fun. How about you? Do you love your dogs too? Wow, oh, they are considered pet animals. And we have the next set of animals here. We have turtles. Ooh, don't you know that there are turtles that you can take care of at home? These are some of the examples, not the big, big ones, but just the small ones maybe. Also, the cats! Wow, they are so sweet. They love being pet by people and they are just sleeping all day. They are helping us by catching rats maybe. And they are very, very lovable animals. Who has cat at home? Wow. Very nice pet. We have here another one, the hamsters. Wow, who has hamsters? And who likes to have a hamster at home? They belong to the family of the rats, but they are a different kind in, in terms of a look. Look at them, they look so cute and they can be taken care of. 
So children, those are some of the examples of the pet animals. And now next in line in our animal parade would be the next set of animals are the... What are these? Farm animals. These are the farm animals that live on the farm. They are usually kept there for their produce, labor, or for meat. They are helping the farmers in the farm. And these kind of animals need bigger space. And most of them are eating grass. That's why they must be kept there in the farm. Let us have some examples of these farm animals. Are you ready? Let's see if we can name these animals. Moo. That says moo. Yes, the cow. They are giving us milk. And they can be meat also. The corned beef. You're eating corned beef? That's from the meat of the cow. And they are giving us so, so much more. These are the cows. They are eating grass and they need big space. That's why they must be there in the farm. What else? The pigs. Yes, they might not be so big, but they are quite smelly. That's why they need an open space. And that perfect place is the farm. Let us have some more examples. The sheep. We also have sheep here in the Philippines, especially in other countries, of course. They give meat also. Their wool is very much of importance because they are being made into coats or jackets. Next is the horse. Wow. Horse. The running and galloping horse is a kind of a farm animal. Okay, next. Let's see what animal do we have here. Ooh, it's coming. The, the, the carabao. The carabao is of much help to the farmer. This helps the farmer in tilling the land. At the same time, this carabao is carrying heavy load. Especially with those people who are living in the farm or in the mountains, this carabao also is a means of transportation for them. We have here the goat man. The goats that give milk too. And these goats are eating grass too. That's why they must be there in the farm. And what else are the farm animals that we have here? Ooh, we have the... Duck! Quack, 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 the duck! They are there in the farm. What else? Mm, the chicken! Both the chicken are the mommy hen that lays eggs, the rooster, the cocks in the morning. They are all must be living in the farm. Though there are people nowadays who are taking care of chicken in the backyard that they have at home, but still, these animals must be in the farm because they need bigger space. What else do we have here? Woo! Next are the zoo or the wild animals. Children, these are the animals that cannot stay at your house. These are the animals that cannot even be taken care of in the farm. <laughs> Because they are wild because some of them might eat the farmer or might eat you and some of them are quite big that they could not fit in your house let us take a look at these animals these are usually big untamed and cannot be kept at home these are the elephants the elephants are very 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 good animals they might not eat you, but they are so big. That's why they must be there in the wild or in the zoo. We just have zoo here in the Philippines. We have um, how many zoo? These zoo are just being placed there so that we could see some examples of these wild animals. But children in other countries with big space, they are staying just in the safari, in, in the wild, wherein they are just being allow there to go around. And here, we have the elephant in the zoo. Also, the tiger. Ooh, the tigers are wild animals. They are meat eaters. Of course, you cannot have them in your house because they might eat you. But they are also very nice animals. Maybe. And next is the lions. Here, children, 
The one with the big mane or the big hair with the big hair is the daddy lion or the male lion. The one with, with less hair is the lioness or the mommy lion. They are both living in the wild or you might see them in the zoo. Here are the giraffe. Okay, the giraffe are so big and they are very tall because they have very long neck that enable them to get leaves from the trees because they eat much leaves. And of course, they can stay at your house because they are very tall. Next in line are the zebras. These are the zebras. We can just see them in the zoo. There are examples of these animals in the zoo, but they are living in the wild. Also the rhinoceros. They are so big, see? Look at them. The rhinoceros are living in the wild too, or you can see an example of that in the zoo. How about the leopards? Ooh, they belong to the big cat family, and they are also wild animals. They are also meat eaters. That's why they must be there in the wild, or they are being well kept in the zoo. Another one here is a koala. A koala bear. Next is ooh, the ostrich. The ostrich that is also a big bird. And that must be kept in the zoo as well or in the wild. The snake also, especially this big one's kids, the pythons. Okay, if you will go to the zoo, you will see a lot of pythons or big snakes there. And there are times that they would let you experience touching it or holding it. They you try if you if you would happen to be there in the zoo, but these are considered wild animals. In the next in line are the wild birds. These are quite big and they are also meat eaters, like the hawks, the eagles, and some other kinds of birds that you will not commonly see around. They must be in the wild, in the forest, or you can see some examples of them in the zoo. Another is alligator. Alligator or crocodiles must be there in the zoo too. Have you seen a real crocodile or alligator? I had already seen real alligators and crocodiles in the zoo. They are wild and they are eating a lot of meat. That's why they must be kept there. And these people in the zoo are very well knowledgeable in taking care of this kind of animals. And the monkey! Ooh, these monkeys are climbing up into the tree and they love playing and swinging from one tree to another, from one branch of the tree to another. That's why they need big space and they must be there in the forest or in the wild. Or you can see some in the zoo. And the peacock. Oh, it's a kind of bird that would open its tail, would put its tail up and make it open that way. And that looks so colorful. You can see peacock in the zoo. Wow, so children, those are the examples of the kinds of animals that we have. Can you name the three kinds of animals that we have just learned? Yes, the first one are the pet animals that can stay at your house. The second ones are the farm animals that are there in the farm with the farmer because they need big space and they are mostly eating grass. And the third ones are the zoo animals or the wild animals that are untamed cannot stay with you at all. They cannot even be there in the farm because they might eat the other animals there or even the farmer or the people in the farm. Wow, don't forget about those three kinds of animals. Now let's see if you can still remember them. Teacher Ida will show you some pictures of animals. Now, all you have to do is put a check on the animal that goes with its type. I will tell you if it's a cat or a or a farm or a zoo animal, all you have to do is put a check on the animal that goes with it. Okay, number one, what among these animals is considered pet? Is it the dog or the leopard? Of course, the dog! Woohoo! One star for that! Dog is a pet animal. Number two, what would be the animal that lives in the farm? Is it the hen or the owl? Mm -hmm, think, think, think. 
Yes, you are correct. It must be the chicken. Who must be living in the farm? Yes, another star for you. Okay, next, number three. What could be a zoo animal? Is it the cat or the elephant? You are correct again. It is the elephant. Another star for you. Good job. You're doing great so far. Number four. Who could be a zoo or wild animal here? Is it a lion or a goat? Correct! The lion that is a wild animal. Of course, you have another star for that. So the fifth one is a farm animal. Is it the pig or the bear? You are correct again. It must be the pig. Woohoo! One more star. Children, you did a good, good, good job. Very good. Okay, it is very clear with me now that you got the lesson that we have for today. It's all about the different kinds of animals. Did you enjoy the parade of animals that we had? Wow! That was an amazing parade of animals wherein we have learned about the three kinds. What are those three kinds of animals? Yes, the pet animals, the farm animals, and the zoo animals. So next time around, when you would see these animals, you can now classify them according to its name. Thank you so much for listening today, kids. I hope that you have learned something. Bye for now. God bless you.